My name's Chris Gardner, part-time traveler, lifetime foodie. I travel many miles to find the best food that I possibly can. Healthy or not, it all has a spot in my heart. For the love of food, you're on Forbidden Food TV. Let us get a little crazy. What's up, everyone? Chris here with Forbidden Food TV. We're here at KFC to try the new KFC Go Cups. But first, before we even start today, I first of all need to get rid of these and put on my new spectacles. I've had these things for seven years. They're scratched, they're destroyed, they're broken, just in with the new. Hey, thank you for choosing KFC and Taco Bell. Would you like to try our 249 Go Cups today? Um, I actually am going to get some of those Go Cups. Can I get um one of the, uh, what is it, the... The four bites uh, go cup and one of the three hot wings. One four bite, one three hot wing. You got it. Okay. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna be all today. And yep, that's it. All right. And would you like any dipping sauce for the four bites? Um, sure. Whatever you recommend. Well, we have honey barbecue, honey mustard, sweet and sour, ranch, buffalo. Um, you know what? I'll go with uh sweet and sour. What was that? Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Okay. Would you like to donate a dollar to the World Hunger Relief today? Sure. $6.38. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Have a good day. It's nice to see a smile going through a drive through You don't see that very often. All right, so like I said, we're here today for the KFC Go Cups. So I'm not going to waste your time, not going to fool around. We're just going to get into the bag. All right, so right here I've properly installed the go cup in my cup holder so I'm gonna hopefully this will come off yeah just a little pinch it comes right off so what we got we got our what are these, like potato skins or whatever they are we got those and then hiding in there a little deeper in the there eh, we got the, our chicken bites that are looking mighty tasty I might add and oh these boys are a little bit bigger one of these are the spicy I'm not sure which one but they're, it's all looking pretty delicious for like two forty nine. That's not bad. So let's get right up here and uh, get into the go cups. So as you might have heard, I went with the uh, our sweet and sour dipping sauce here, which I don't usually get sauce a lot of the time. I don't know why. If it's just a hassle or well, I don't know. I just never get it. So like I said, we got our our go cups here, which they're pretty cool. They're not uh, you know. They're pretty sweet. They're cool to be able to just throw in your cup holder or whatnot. And I agree, sometimes KFC's packaging was a little little on the large side at times. So it's kind of hard sometimes to throw their stuff in your, not in your car, but just, it's just hard to manage sometimes. So I'm going to start with the, uh, I'll start with the, I'll start with the little guy. Give him a, a dunk, a dunk, a dunk, a dunk in the sweet and sour. Exactly what you would expect from KFC. Nice, light, and crispy. It's just, it's just the way they play the game, you know. There's no, it's just light and crispy and delicious. There's no no way around it. Let's get into one of our bigger bubbas here. Getting with the dip. You gotta. See, that's the thing. You can't just be like, eh. No, you got to get the proper the, the dip and then the roll so you get, you know, all the degrees of sauce on that. I think that's my spicy boy. <laughs> yep. I wasn't realizing there was a bone. I almost ate the bone. Yeah, so these are our spicy... Ow! They're hot. Temperature-wise and heat-wise. Got a nice little bit of heat to them. Tasty. I feel like I need to do another one of these guys for you, because I just kind of botched that. These are tasty too, guys. Now for the potato wedges. That's what they're called. Potato wedges. That's what we're going to go with. A little dunky dunk in this too. Mm. 
I've always loved their potato wedges. They just, they've got a good flavor. They're crispy, but they're soft in the middle. They've always, KFC's always done these little wedges right. I don't know if you can hear this crunch, but. If you want to keep it crunchy, get yourself some uh, potato wedges for sure. So the verdict on the KFC Go Cups. I would say it's not necessarily a new product, so to speak. It is, it's a little bit of a reinvention in a way. It's more of a convenience upgrade. You know, you're not getting the big bulky KFC box anymore. You're getting the smaller little Go Cups that you can put in your cup holder and then easily, you know, when you're driving. But nonetheless, what would I give them each separate? I'm going to base them off the two, not necessarily okay. I can't really judge the meal off of the cup because the cup's really the only new the new item in this situation. It's not actually the food. Uh, so I'm going to base it strictly on the food. But the chicken's always tender. It's always crispy. It's always juicy. The sauces are great. The, uh, the potato wedges are always crispy and soft and fluffy in the middle. They're great. The heat, the wings were nice and spicy. Not too much, though. For my taste buds, barely registered on my tongue, but I'm fine with that. Those were good. The uh, the boneless are always going to be my favorite. I've always been a boneless guy. And um, it was just delicious. So what would I give it? I would give it, honestly, the whole deal, I'd probably give them a solid eight all day. Nothing wrong with them at all. They're great. Get them again, for sure. I'd probably go boneless most of the time. But, yeah. If you guys are wondering if, oh, these KFC Go Cups worth it, they're like two forty nine. For what you're getting, that's not really bad, you know? So I would say go ahead and try the KFC Go Cups. They're well worth it. Stop at your local KFC. It's been Chris with Forbidden Food TV. Make sure to like, subscribe, favorite, share, all that good stuff. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter, uh, like me on Facebook, all that good stuff, forward slash Forbidden Food TV. I will see you guys next time.